Question number five says, the figure shows a wooden box that is being pulled along a horizontal plane. According to the figure, what is the horizontal acceleration of the box to the left? Provided that the coefficient of kinetic friction wood on wood is 0 0.2, round your answer to the nearest hundred. So it's this arrangement shows that the box is being pulled towards the left with the certain acceleration. And they're asking us what is the value of the acceleration with which the box moves, right? So if you see this arrangement, what you can find it, first identify which are the forces acting on this. So once you know the forces acting upon this box, then it's easy for us to identify what is the acceleration by knowing the net force of the existing on the system, right? Okay, so which are the forces acting on this? The one it's gonna be the pulled force, which has been represented with the magnitude of 110 Newton. So that's the, its magnitude has been given. And the frictional force is act, acting in the opposite direction. So always the frictional force acts on the opposite direction to the movement of the body. It keeps opposing it. And the other forces which is acting here is going to be weight force. As the box is not going up or down, it's remaining straight horizontally means the one force which is acting downward, it's going to be the weight force. And usually we represent that with the FW. And the value of the weight force is going to be what it is. The mass of the box multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, mg. And as the weight force is acting downward, there is an another force is acting opposite to this. That is the force which is acting on the wood and the box. That is what opposite force. And that force, what we say, the normal force. And the normal force we represent here in this way. So normal force is acting on the upward direction. That's what we say it as Fn. And now let me write the formula for the frictional force. The frictional force it's basically mu times the normal force, mu times Fn. So to calculate the frictional force, I need to calculate what is the value of Fn. So let's do one by one. Now first look at here, whatever the pull force applied here, this force is not exactly parallel to the horizontal plane, isn't it? It has been applied with the certain angle. It means to say, whatever the 110 Newton applied here, that not ex complete 110 in Newton is used for pulling the block. It's not completely used. It's component because uh, whenever we are applying the force with a certain angle, so the force which is affecting to pull the block or the object is only the, it's horizontal component. So I need to calculate what is what amount of force is being used to pull this box. So how do I calculate? Just by creating an, uh, vector concept that's this is the resultant force they have given to us we have to calculate its component right so the force which is being pulled along the x-axis is like this force and let me represent this force with the for the reference as fx and as it is making a certain angle there is a force also exerting along the y-axis that is the vertical force so which is we can say the vertical force which is exerting on the y-axis is basically this vertical force or it can also be represented here as is just vector and I can calculate what is the force and that force let me write it as Fy. So let's calculate the horizontal component and the vertical component of this arrangement. <clears throat> now look angle is given to us and hypotenuse is given to us so I can you to calculate the value of Fx and Fy I can use the trigonometry concept. So you, you guys already know about what is so ka choa and this is the most important concept what used in uh, physics, uh, trigonometry and the vectors, right? So what is actually the uh, so ka choa says, let me just represent here for uh, if in a right angle triangle, in a right angle triangle, let's say this is the theta and side opposite it's we're gonna say it as opposite and this is gonna be the adjacent and this is gonna be the hypotenuse. The longest side is always hypotenuse. What is the so? S-O-A, we usually say. So it's basically sine of angle theta is equals to opposite over uh, hypotenuse. And ka, ka stands for uh, like, you know, cosine. Cosine of angle theta is equals to uh, adjacent over hypotenuse and another one comes ta, uh, to a tan of angle theta is equals to 
tan of angle theta is equals to opposite over adjacent. So this is the concept what we gonna follow here. To calculate now look at here what is given to us. I know the opposite according to the figure. I know the hypotenuse and I know the uh, angle. So as we know the hypotenuse and we know the angle. So what we gonna do here. So what we gonna calculate. Let's calculate what is the F, uh, fx. fx is with reference to this angle. The fx is acting as the adjacent and high hypotenuse is going to be the pulled force that is 110 newton so if adjacent and the hypotenuse and the angle is given to us so we're going to use the concept called uh, cosine so let me write cosine of angle theta or in this case cosine of 35 cosine of 35 degree is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse fx divided by 110 so from this one, I can write it as fx is equals to 110 cos 35. So 110 cos 35 degree. So what is the value of 110 cos 35? Now it's a calculator. You can put these values in the calculator. You'll be getting 90.106. The same thing I have to calculate what is the vertical component as well. As I said, Calculate the vertical component. This is the value of fx what we are getting now. fx is the this value. And to calculate the vertical component, so I know the uh, hypotenuse, I know the angle, I need to calculate the opposite with reference to the triangle. So in this case, we're going to use it like sine of angle 35 degree is equals to opposite, that is fy over. 110. So from this one, F Y component F I is equals to 110 sine 35 degree. So 110 sine 35 degree, what value we're gonna get? We're gonna get it as 63.093 approximate. So this is the your Y component. So that is the force which along which is acting on the Y axis. Now this force I can write it here as 63.093. And a normal force is also acting upon this. Now, what you can observe here is like vertically, there are two forces are acting. So one is the uh, component force that is Fy and another one is the normal force. And these two forces are acting on the same direction. These two forces must be balanced with the weight force not to move the object up and down. So I can write now, I can write here, I can write here that arrangement my weight force f w must be equal to the f y plus the f n so weight force must be equal to the force along the y component that is the y axis plus the normal force so that's we can make use of that and from this one i can calculate what is the normal force is so from this one what i can do f w minus f y is equals to f n so I can just arrange this term as I already know the two forces. So from this, I can calculate the value of Fn as Fn can be written now as just let me write, uh, take it out here. So Fn can be written here as Fw. Fw is basically Mg minus and we got it as 63.093. So what is the value of Mg now? Mass of the block has given us as how much? Uh, 40, uh, 40 kg. So it, this can be written as 40 times G is 9.8. So 40 times 9.8 minus 63.093. So just do it 40 times 9.8 minus 63.093. So what value of 40 times 9.8 we're gonna get? Times 9.8. So approximately we are getting 392. So 392 minus 63.093. So do the subtraction here, minus 63.093. So that gives you the value here as 328, 328.97. So this is the force which is acting as a normal force. So why we are calculating the normal force? Because we need to calculate the frictional force. So F, F, 
so because the frictional force is acting in the opposite direction to the pull force so from this i can calculate what is the value of frictional force now i can calculate what is the frictional forces so now substitute the value here of fn and now let's calculate a frictional force let me write it here now frictional force i can calculate here as that is f f in short we represent it as mu times fn and what is the value of mu mu is 0.2 times uh, fn is going to be 328.97 so 0.2 times 328.97 what are you going to get you going to get value here as 65.794 65.794 newton this is the your frictional force and now we need to calculate what is the uh, acceleration by using the frictional force and by using the force of the uh, x component i can find what is the acceleration now to solve for acceleration let me just take it out here to solve for acceleration i can write it here as to solve for acceleration i can do this arrangement as the block is moving towards the left with the certain force mean definitely there is a uh, the net force which is exerting on the block is on the left direction so and how do we calculate the net force uh, you know i can write it as f net which is exerting on the block is equals to the difference between the fx minus the ff the pull force uh, whatever the force which is pulling uh, with what force the object is moving towards the left is written as the difference between the horizontal force minus the uh, frictional force so that difference that is the effective force with which the block gonna move now what is the value how do i write for the f net as we know that according to the newton's law force is basically mass times its acceleration as we know f is equals to m times a so according to the newton's second law the for applied force is equals to the mass of the object times the its acceleration so f net can be written as now as m a is equals to fx so what is the value of fx we got we got the value of fx here as 90.106 90.106 minus and what is the ff we got 65.794 sorry 65.794 so i already know the value of m m is representing mass of the object here and the a is the acceleration with which it's uh, moving to the left so from this i can find the a here as a here as difference in the value so what i'm getting here uh, 90.106 minus uh, that 65.794 that gives us approximately 24 24.312 this will be divided by m so m value here is going to be 40 so this arrangement will be divided by 40 so divided by 40 that gives you the frictional uh, sorry acceleration this value going to give here as 0 0.6078 something this is the value of acceleration isn't it so but here they are showing us like 0 0.61 and we got it as 0 0.607 but look at to the last part of the question what they are saying us round your answer to the nearest hundreds how do you round the how do you round the answer what we got here to round it to the nearest hundred so we gonna look at as a is equals to look at the hundreds digit here this is the tenth first after decimal point first digit is called the tenths next is called the hundreds thousands and so on so to round it to the nearest hundreds look at to the digit next to it if the next digit is greater than or equal to five i have to add one to this and i have to make all others to be zero this is the way of rounding it out so then it becomes and the rest number i have to read it as zero this becomes zero point six zero plus one it's gonna be one and i can make them as zero zero so that's it is as good as a is equals to zero point six one meter 
per second square because the acceleration we measure in the unit as meter per second square, right? So this is the way of calculating the acceleration of the blocks. 